And the Justice Department is launching a civil rights investigation into a U.S. Park police shooting. A 17-year-old died. We're getting a look at body cam footage and hearing from the teen's families. ABC Steve Osami has the latest. The U.S. Attorney's Office has opened a civil rights investigation into the actions of these two unidentified United States Park police officers, seen here quietly approaching the back of a vehicle they believe was stolen. It was early Saturday morning in Washington, D.C. on March 18th. The car was running, and inside, 17-year-old Delaney O'Martin was asleep behind the wheel. The other officers standing around are from local D.C. police, and they warned the federal officers about going inside the car. If he takes off, he takes off, but yeah, just don't get caught inside of that car. You know what I mean? Police! Come on, come on. No sooner than they get in the car, the teenager wakes up, struggles with the officers, and speeds away. The officer directly behind him falls into the street. But it's this officer who can't get out of the speeding vehicle who takes the teenager's life. Stop! Stop, man, just let me out. Let me out! Stop! Stop, bro, shoot! Stop! The officer fired six times, and the boy's mother says that he and the other officers should be identified and prosecuted. I want justice served appropriately for them all, but the officer that shot my son executed him. I want him locked up. Police point out that the car crashed into a home, that the officer still inside made it out and started giving CPR to the teenager, but was unable to save his life. Police also share that while the victim didn't have a gun on his person, they later found this gun in the stolen car. He was my son. He was somebody's brother. He was somebody's nephew. Delay no life matters, and he should still be here. The police union is standing behind these officers saying that they had a lawful reason to enter the vehicle and that the shooting was justified. Both federal officers are on administrative leave. The funeral for the teenager is next week. Steve Osentami, ABC News, Atlanta.